Oh, hello everyone, this is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. So recently I'm reading this book called The Sushi Economy by Sasha Eisenberg. So um, the author started exploring the sushi business around a decade ago. And in this book, he mentioned that it has been a multi-billion dollar international business. And bluefin tuna is one of the most expensive. So typically one single fish can um, be sold for tens of thousands of dollars. So prior to 1960s, basically no one in Japan really valued roof and tuna, and they paid pennies a pound to see a ground up as cat food. But in the end, the Japanese people, they looked at American people devouring the bloody steaks, and later also wanted oil and meat of their own, and started asking for roof and tuna at their sushi bar. So today, many countries, including Japan, Mexico, and the U.S., continue to seek profit from large group of tuna catches every year without any sort of regard for conservation. So group and tuna are international fish because uh, it can freely travel across different oceans around the globe, and it is very difficult to legislate the harvest of fish that travels the way group and do. And there's many species in the world, obviously, that are threatened, but uh, group and tuna have already been fished to extinction in the Black Sea and Caspian Sea. In the population in the Pacific Ocean and in the Atlantic Ocean are also declining. So bluefin wildlife, as well as fish in the open sea, are common pool resources. Since uh, they are not owned by anyone, typically don't have a price, and aren't uh, available for anyone to obtain without any limitation on the amount of payment. So in an economic vocabulary, Common pool resources are rivers and excludable. And the meaning of rivers means that if I buy this certain good, the availability for you or someone else will reduce. And it is non excludable because it's basically not possible to exclude anyone from using a good or a resource. And in our particular case here, when bluefins are overfished, the entire bluefin industry uses up an excessive amount of the global stock of fish. It will likely to interfere with uh, the natural ecosystem, and that will lead to very severe marine uh, environmental depletion. So the tragedy of the commons can help us uh, better understand the concepts of rivalry and non-excludability. So uh, back to the time in the 60s, as we have already mentioned, when uh, bluefin tuna were so abundant, and the supply of tuna fish will look something like this. So basically, this is a market for uh, bluefin tuna. And notice that here the supply curve is perfectly vertical, meaning that uh, it is perfectly inelastic. And the quantity available um, is set at this fixed level of Q1. And it won't change with any change in price. So this curve can, in fact, represent any kind of natural resources. So initially, our demand curve is right here. And according to the law of demand, when price becomes lower, the quantity demand is greater. But uh, when we're talking about a common pool of resources, we'll mention that it essentially has zero barrier to obtain tuna, and that basically anyone can uh, use them without any payment. So when price is near zero, and you will know where the quantity is likely to end up. So it is right here, as you can see. So um, Q2, the quantity demanded for tuna, and uh, Q1, the quantity supplied at the original level when tuna fish uh, was not exploited by the fishers. There was a natural gap uh, in between. And we have already talked about the situation when supply exceeds demand. A surplus will basically occur here. So when Japanese people started to ask for uh, both in tuna at their sushi bar, the demand for oily and fatty fish increases, following by uh, multiple other countries in the world, and eventually the demand curve for bluefin will shift outward to the right, and that will narrow down this gap. So as you notice here, there is still room for the surplus. But the sad story is that as more people see bluefin, a uh, fishing industry is a profitable business, and each fisher begins to increase the amount of bluefin fishing activities. After some time, the rate of massive catching is faster than the rate of uh, the bluefin reproduction. And you can imagine what it will likely to end up next. So bluefin tuna becomes less and less, and eventually uh, that supply curve shifts to the left. 
and that will induce the problem of scarcity. So notice that here the supply curve keeps shifting to the left and the gap becomes uh, shorter. And finally, what happened is that the demand exceeds the supply. And this eventually retrieves back to our original discussion about the foundation of economics. So it is basically a problem of scarcity. So now people face uh, the scarcity problem as bluefin is going near extinction. So maybe next time when you go to a sushi bar again, you'll remember the story of today, um, the tragedy of the commons, and reconsider what you order at your table. And if all the people on this planet can try their best to be responsible to uh, the sustainable development of our Earth's future, we and the next generation will all be better off. So if you enjoy the content, please remember to like the video and leave a comment down below. And I really hope to see you next time. Ciao.